my name is Céline Ross and I'm a Janome educator in Canada. So I welcome you again for a little 30 minutes of uh, quilting today, but quilting and sewing with uh, help from uh, optional accessories. So I'll turn my camera. I'll remove the name, then you'll see well. I will use two sewing machine, two different sewing machine today. 3160. This is an uh, anniversary edition. And M7. Because one is low shine, the other one is high shine. M7. My M7 is ready to go. Okay? Uh, one is high, low shine, high shine. And the foot is different for quilting. So when we quilt, what do we do? What do we need? Three layers of fabric. Cotton, batting, cotton. To sew those three layers and to finish them even at the bottom. You know, you don't want them to finish like this. You really want them even at the bottom. Well, then you need a uh, an even foot i hope that's the that's the word i'm looking for uh, for the uh, come on, well, even feed foot okay i already attach it because i don't want you to see me with uh, attaching it but i have a demo here this is the foot that's the way it looks like so you have to remove the foot holder and to attach with the screw was there the, to attach this foot but this goes over the needle bar so down so you see it's over the needle this is a needle bar so that goes over this will make the um the feed dogs the upper feed dog to, uh, to walk through the, the fabric. So feed dogs at the bottom, feed dogs on top. It's grabbing equally all the layers of fabric. I'm talking about uh, quilting, but I can talk also about uh, this foot can be used also on uh, plaid, on uh, fabric with stripe, uh, fabric with... Um, I will tell you hair, but you know what I mean. You know, it's thick. It's like polar fleece or velvet or uh, or even organza. You know, when you want to finish even here and the fabric the fabric is slippery, you need that foot. So, in Canada, thirty one sixty. As a bonus, it comes with these uh, this accessory box, and the foot is there. But look at the picture. It's an open toe foot. So you see well. So it comes with the quilting bar. Okay. It comes with a fabric guide that you will attach. Everything is for quilting. Here is a free motion quilting. Quarter of an inch. And open toe for decorative stitches. Okay. So in Canada, like I say, but I'm talking about this series, 3160. Maybe you have other model. And what I'm going to say today, it's for every model from Janome, but there'll be a little difference and I'll show them to you the difference. This one is a low shine. M7 is a high shine. And look at the, the, the foot, the even foot is different. Okay, so it's a nine millimeter machine, high shine, and uh, even foot with as uh, I, I don't know what to how to say with uh, this part here goes inside the machine, and it's eye intelligent. Whoops, eye intelligent. You know when you do something and you don't look at your camera. Uh, so this part here goes this part goes in the system and it's eye intelligent um, 
uh, walking foot. Okay, so I'll be back here because what I'm saying here, it's going to be good for the other side, for the other machine, but it's not there. So let's say I want to quilt this spacing evenly. When you want to attach, it's really easy. You just have to push down the needle bar, the, 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 the guide, the, the guide bar, oh, because I, I zoom, okay. You know we want to do it so perfect, but it's not acting the way we want. Okay, so here's my example. I hear from people, oh, I broke this. I broke one, what did I do wrong? Well, we have to make sure nothing happened because this is plastic, but everything is metal, okay? The mistake people do and they click one side and they click the other side. No, we have to push both at the same time and there's no problem. Okay, now I'll tell you, I already broke one previously <laughs> uh, uh, before I had uh, another uh, model of machine. It worked anyway, okay? So one, the, if you break two and this is, the bar is loose, well, <laughs> well, 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 huh? Okay, so I'm not using it here. How do you remove it? You slide it to the right. Now I'm going to attach it to the machine, to the foot on the machine. And I would like to have the same width as I had before. So you see, put my needle down, push. You just push or pull, push, pull, and then you're ready to go. So I'm coming here. I guide my, whoops. Uh, sometimes it's too thick to go in. What do I do? I have an extra lift, but I see it's my needle who's down, who's stuck here. Okay. Extra, look at this, how thick you can put your quilt. Okay. I will align it and just go. I'm using start stop button because there are so many wires with the, with the lamp and the two machine and the video and the name it. So I, I don't need a foot control. So I'll stop it. So my eyes are here. I don't look here for sure. If I guide my fabric on the, on the right, it's going to sew at the right place. Stop, thread cutter, remove my fabric to the left and make sure I'll restart good by holding my thread in the thread holder on the right. So the thread cutter is a thread holder. From the back to the front is a thread cutter. From the front to the back is a thread holder. And look, I'll put the uh, navy fabric. Look at the nice tension of thread. So you will have a perfect start. See my start, how perfect it is? It's not... Uh, like this you know a bunch of uh, a, a bunch of thread it's not like that it's perfect straight stitch just because of this you know genome thought of everything huh uh, you know who's doing these machines they are engineers so they, they're smart they, they really think now for my second row what do i have to do i just have to follow with my guide, I just have to follow the previous line. My eyes keep following the straight stitch here until the end. I can adjust uh, my stitch. Uh, whoop, no, stop, stop. I can adjust uh, my stitch length if I want. Pull my fa pull my thread no, to. It's an habit, okay? Because once, once you start to do it, you'll do it all the time. You'll never end up with a mess. Did I do it right this time? Look at this. Whoop. Look at this. No messy beginning. Okay? And then you keep going. 
So this is not just for quilting. This is also for sewing. The guide here, you can adjust it to five eight to one inch. You know, an inch and a quarter. You know, up to two inches. I I insist on this because I'll show you something else. Up to two inches. Let's say that's okay. I have this, but from for certain occasion. I need to sew, you know, if we have a big, long fabric, you roll it here, you roll it in the center, and you prefer to sew from the, um, from the center to the left. You, you know, you prefer to sew, and then this one, and then this one, you keep going. This uh, bar doesn't go to the left side, so I'll remove it. And look what I have. Ditch quilting guide and adjustable quilting guide. So I have two bars. Two guides, I should say. Here it is. So the adjustable, I'm reading, it's, it's uh, easier for me. Adjustable quilting bar is this one. The ditch quilting bar is that one. So what does it do? I can use it on the left or on the right, no problem. I can adjust it. And when I'm happy with it, see, I can't move it. I tight it. When it's tight, you know, nothing move. So it is a guide. So let's say I'm gonna use it on the left side. Same thing, push down. Oh no, I should show it to you here push down both sides together and then adjust what you need to adjust okay you finish remove it by sliding this is what i'm going to do here okay push down both sides at the same time okay and let's say i'm here okay uh, no, I want to have the right measurement. So I'm too, my needle is here. Okay. Then I can adjust this. I'm happy here. Tight the screw. When I tight the screw, sometimes it's moving. Eh? Here we, here I go. Okay. I attach it and then I can keep going. I'm following the previous rope by sewing this time to the left but I can do the same thing to the right okay so that is convenient then you say hmm there's something else I remove it by sliding what is this ah this one is the ditch quilting guide ditch quilting means I want to sew inside the seam see my seam here so what i'm gonna do same thing again with my two hands push down okay and let's say I'm, i was too far because the ditch one is in the center huh? so i just have to lift it up a bit and then i'm going first i'm going to find my with my needle right and the sewing and then I'll move maybe if I get closer me the cameraman or women <laughs> okay look at this so I won't go fast and some something that I, I'm not a real professional in quilting me okay Michael is but me I'm not so I like to open my seam. Do you see my two hands? Oh, I'll stop. I'm too close just to show you. So I like to open my seam, my two sides. I pull them, not that hard, but just to make sure I'm sewing right into my, my, my seam. Okay, I'll stop. I'll clip that cut my thread just to lift my foot there you go 
hey, look at this. Huh? Not bad at all, huh? Okay? This is called a stitch in the ditch. I don't like that word in French. It doesn't look good. It looks like, hmm. Okay. So, this is finished. So, I'm okay with that one. Let's go. So, uh, I want to make a difference. I'm sorry. So, let's say you have a machine similar and you receive as a bonus a quilting attachment. The only thing you need to buy is those bars, okay? This is optional. If you bought a machine without this attachment and without that kit, then you need to buy this, uh, this kit, convertible even feed foot set. So this set comes with Even feed, even feed dog. A second, I call it sole. I hope I'm okay. So you don't want a closed toe. You want, uh, you want a full. This is open toe. This is closed toe. So you can interchange them. You know, just with these little uh, knot here. See, right there, and. It's easier when it's attached to uh, the machine. Here we go. So I don't need to, to remove the attachment and remove and put back and change the foot and I don't need this. So one, two, three, four, five pieces in. If you have nothing, you have a whole kit in convertible even feed foot set. Be careful, eh? low shank horizontal hook. You know, when you buy a foot, you have to investigate. On genome.com and genome.ca, you have a free catalog that you can download and you search for the category of your machine. It'll tell you a letter, let's say H, and then you search for the feet, the, all the feet that fits your machine and the part number, beside the part number, there's an H. That's what you have to look for, okay? Or you ask your dealer, it's, it's, uh, it's easier, okay? So, quilting bar came with, with the kit and many machines, Whoop. okay? But we don't need those two attachment to the other machine. I'll pull as much as I can my stand, but I enlarge also the, uh, the screen. Okay, I have the even foot with that system I told you. And the soles are removable also. Same thing, you remove them and you change them. No problem. Okay, but what I did here, you see my squares are bigger. My bar goes just up to two inches. I need four inches. Genome thought about it. Look at this extra long bar. Okay, so Y2, one to the left, one to the right again. So these bars go inside the even foot attachment or foot or I don't know if I should say attachment or not okay left or right but it also go in a regular foot holder this one is the left one hey look at this can go uh, you can go wrong huh? if you so straight if you follow the guide here and this is not just for quilting but it's really helpful for quilting but it's also helping for sewing, okay? Or to the right, left or right, okay? So this is good. Or in a regular foot holder or in the uh, even foot. So we can go wrong. Same thing here. 
where is my foot? So I'll take a long bar. Uh, when it's in my hand, that's not the... Uh, I'm not strong enough to push it. Oh, okay, I got it. Look at this. One to the left or the other one to the right. And let me show you what I mean by high shank and low shank. No, how I'm gonna hold them to you. Okay, like this. You see, high shank, low shank. Okay, so before you buy a foot, you have to know your model number, huh? You don't want to make a, a mistake. And you know, it's a pain if you have to return and exchange and refound. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the meantime, when you do all these things, uh, you don't sew. Here, what I used, Genomic Canada is distributor of the Madeira thread. So on the 3160, I used the Polyneon thread. Well, I guess on the camera, you won't see very well. I guess you won't see very well. Okay, so this one is a polyester. And on my cover also, pillow cover, this is what I use. So sometimes uh, this, come, not sometimes, but with time, this comes yellow, huh? yellowish. So what do you do? You put it on Javex. Oxyclean is the best, okay? So um, if you have polyester with Javex, it, of course, it's, it's stronger, the polyester, okay? And also, you know, you're rubbing. Of course, you have a pillowcase on top of it. This is a pillow protector. But still, you're rubbing and you're rubbing, so polyester is stronger. And by the way, there's no good polyester and bad polyester. Polyester is polyester, that's it, and that's all. No good, no bad, that doesn't exist. Trust me, I know from the manufacturer directly. So this is what I use here. Polyneon from Madeira. Okay, it's nice, it's cute. While here I use cotton. So again, you don't see, you cannot tell on the camera. You cannot tell. But, cottona, whoops, cottona. 100% cotton from, again, Madeira. And they sell by the box. And they sell, I, I believe, bigger cone, big, bigger uh, quantity than these here. And it, it's nice, it's clean, it's convenient. Uh, you have a lot, uh, you can see this over the uh, internet, okay? Of course, you you work with your Janome tools eh, all the time, if it's not Janome. And even my, my little tweezer here, Janome. Okay, so Janome tools help you to sew better. Now, I'll put this down because I want to explain that panel. So I'll go back and like this. Okay, when I receive a sewing machine from Janome, I study the machine because I have to teach it and I have to, uh, so, you know, me making a little sample like this, uh, it's okay for uh, while you're sewing, but I'm not teaching much with this. I really want to be, I really want to find out everything in a real project. So this is the project I made for 3160 with all the stitches from the machine and all the feet from the machine and with the extra help, you know, those with the extra help also. So mm, I hope you can see well my top stitching and everything. So of course I embroider the logo. So I choose the, the color, same color as my machine or clothes. The fabric is, um, the pink fabric is a polyester. Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, not to, no, no, I hate polyester myself. So it's a silk and cotton, and with the flower, the fabric with the print is, uh, 
100% quilting cut, quilt cotton, okay? And I choose gold color because there's gold in with the flower. I don't know if you can see. So you see my top stitching and everything, okay? And there's gold. Maybe with the with the light you don't see well. So all the technique I use, utilitary stitches around. So straight stitch with a uh, <coughs> bar with uh, reverse at the beginning. <coughs> I'm sorry, and at the end <coughs> with a lock stitch at the beginning at the end with the triple stitch with the. Uh, uh, we call it lightning stitch, you know, on the bias, uh, zigzag stitches. These are utilitary stitches there. Over there, I use overlock stitches. So on the square, the, 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 the two squares on top, each side is different because I want to use them all. So all the um, overlock stitches, a simile overlock because the machine doesn't cut huh? uh, the fabric. And on the other side here, all the applique stitches, okay, on this square. Then buttonhole section, the buttonhole section, all the buttonholes that that machine owns, light decorative stitches, and dense decorative stitches. And... Uh, well, I did square by square with all the category one by one. And after this, I did the, my band in between with a quarter of an inch sewing. And then here I'm going to zoom, zoom, zoom. I quilt a big, a large band. Okay, I quilt it. Then I fold it. I quilt it with two different stitches, okay? My triple stitch and I changed the stitch length. And here is um, uh, oof. hand look stitch, okay? And I make pockets. So I use this to insert uh, my tweezers, uh, my uh, seam ripper, uh, some, uh, when I don't use it, I can, I can even slide this in. Okay. And it's, it's nice. And you know, when a lady comes to see a machine or what, when I'm teaching, well, I did everything with the machine. Now I, I know my machine by heart. So this is the 30, 60. And I don't want to, it's not because I want to talk about the machine. It's just I want to show you how I learn my machine. I put the machine on the table, so I add the uh, extra table. And the last thing that you almost need in a sewing room is presser foot workbook. Presser foot work, workbook, the even foot isn't there. So you have four or five pages with the better description than me, with the samples and with the way how to do it, how to use the, this foot and the bars and everything. Okay, press a foot workbook. And the catalog I told you, you can download is this one for Genome Canada anyway. Okay, this is free, download free. Then what you do, you look for your machine. You say, oh, I have 8,200 uh, 8, QCP. What is this machine? E. Then when I want to look for a foot, E is not there. Well, A, B, C, D. E is here. So you see, E. Then I have my part number for the foot I would like to buy. It's a, You know, this one is free, so <laughs> use it. Huh? download it and to finish well we have to get ready yeah uh, it's pretty dark now they changed the, the clock uh, this weekend so uh, the time is uh, it's dark earlier so what uh, last week I showed you the same Christmas stocking from hoop sisters but this time I have the smaller version and I use metallic thread, it's embroidery, 
and I use metallic thread and uh, I didn't try. Look at the result. Not bad, huh? So you have to learn how to work with your end. Look at this. Nothing broke. Look at this. French nut. I use the artistic uh, digital cutter. This side is not uh, bad. But it's so well done. You know, you hoop sisters. So what do you do? I, don't, I didn't want to talk about this. I don't want to teach this, but uh, hey, look. Long bar. Ah. Hey, Santa. Santa, whoever gives the gift. So ready to receive Christmas gift in your hoop sister socks. Okay. So now I'll change my camera. Okay, I have to, I'm telling you it's camping here. I touched my camera. Okay, I'm here. So I wish you nice quilting, easier with all those Janome tools, optional accessories, easier. And it's not just for quilting, it's also for sewing. Of course, I'll be happy if you send me picture of your samples of if you, whatever you try, okay? I'll be happy. So to goodbye to everybody. Thank you for watching. And I hope next week we'll have no uh, problem with the internet and Facebook and name it. <laughs> I hope so. So have a good week, everybody. Bye-bye.